Sunday school teacher had a project for us. It was to make a mezuzah. What's a mezuzah? Anyone here know? Well, to answer that question, we need to look back a little bit at today's scripture reading. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem on your forehead. And write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. A mezuzah is a small scroll before the days of books, a small scroll of paper with the words of the Shema printed on it. Now that's spelled S-H-E-M-A, and that word means hear, H-E-A-R, or we might say, listen up. And it is for the verse, Hear, O Israel. So very faithful religious families would make a mezuzah, a scroll, and put it in a case and hang it on the door frame of their house. Or it might even literally be embedded in the door frame. And then they would see that scroll every time they came in and out of their house. And every time they would see the mezuzah, they would remember the words that were inside it. Love the Lord your God with everything you have. So in my third grade class, we made a mezuzah for each one of us. First we learned the scripture verse. Then we printed it on the scroll in our own handwriting and made a case. And then we took it home. And we put it on the door frame of our house or maybe our bedroom. Now, here is what is significant to me about all of that. Sure, it was a basic Sunday school craft that many teachers and classes would do. I'm sure it came out of the Sunday School Teacher's Guide. But the point is, many, many, many years later, I still remember it. And not only do I remember making the mezuzah, I remember the scripture verse by memory. I kept those words in my heart. My Sunday school teacher and my family lived out the other part of the scripture verse. Hear it again. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Recite or tell these words to your children. Talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you are at church or wherever you may be. Remind them of these words all the time. As you've now heard, we today are celebrating Christian Education Sunday. It is a day when we give thanks for all of our Sunday school teachers and all those who serve each and every week to share the stories of God and Jesus. Our Sunday school teachers serve everyone of all ages. We have our classes for children and youth and adults. We gather around the table we read, we study, we share our faith journey. And as we do so, we are all enriched and empowered to grow in our discipleship. And in that process, we know and feel the support of our friends who are also growing in faith and 
service. I am so grateful for all of our teachers who share their lives and their stories and their faith and their love for teaching. And so today, teachers, we say thank you to you. When we come together on Christian Education Sunday, it's also about families. Families who learn and grow together. One more time. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Our spiritual formation is a seven day a week process. Each of us, every one of us, is called to keep these words in our hearts. When we wake, when we sleep, when we are at work or at school or at play. As families, it is so important to have a time of growth together, reading the Bible together, praying together, giving thanks for a meal together. One family I know has the practice of keeping all of the Christmas cards that they get in a given Christmas. And they put them in a basket and they keep them right beside their meal table. And every time they get together for breakfast, as part of their morning prayer, they pull one of the cards out of the basket and they pray for that person or that family that day. Just as a way of remembering to love their friends and family and neighbors. There are other families who take time at the end of every day to share something that they are grateful for, for that day, even maybe for that moment, and then to give thanks to God together. We do live busy lives, and oftentimes, as families, we are not even all together around a meal table, maybe not even once in a day. And we're always going in lots of directions. It's true for all of us. Even the retirees are always going in lots of directions. But what a difference it makes in our spiritual growth and our family life if we find a few moments every day to remember our mezuzah. When we share together, when we pray together, we are loving each other. And when we love each other, we are loving God. We are loving God with everything we've got. Our heart, our soul, and our might. Well, if you're thinking by now, well, I know this verse, but it doesn't sound quite like I learned it. Good for you. The verse in our scripture reading for today is from the book of Deuteronomy, which is in the Old Testament. Many of us have learned this verse from the New Testament with the commandment from Jesus. Jesus was all the time being asked questions. And when he was asked, which commandment is the first of all? This is what he said. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And the second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. These verses are probably the most preached, the most taught, the most read, the most memorized verses in the Bible. And for good reason. These verses are the very core of who we are as faithful people, as children of God, as disciples of Jesus. Many of you adults who have grown up in the life of Sunday school have probably learned these verses 
over and over again. This summer during Vacation Bible School, these verses were the core verses for the whole week. And all 72 of our children learned these verses. There is so much that we can learn and study about our faith. But if you need to narrow it down, if you need to simplify it, these are the verses to remember and to live. We remember them because we know that love comes to us from God. That God loves us first, each and every one of us and all of us. God has made a covenant with us and we respond out of that great love. And so we remember, and not only remember, but also live. The commandment to love God and our neighbor is intended to affect each of us and our home in and every day. No half-hearted sentiment is good enough. We are to love with all, all of our heart and soul and mind and strength. That's our guide for how we live every day. And what a difference we can make. What a difference we can make when we love God and love others as the guiding principle of all that we say and do. In just a moment, during our song, each of you will receive your own mezuzah. I have some helpers who are going to help me do this. And I invite you to take it with you and keep it in a place where you will be reminded of our covenant with God and our neighbors. You might place it on the doorpost of your house. I'll have to make a case for it if you want. But you might also place it in some places that are more in tune with your lifestyle, like the refrigerator, or in a book, or a calendar, or in your car, or in your wallet. Wherever it works, keep these words in your heart. <coughs> For each and every one of us are constantly learning, and may we grow in our faith and our service. Let us teach others through our words and our actions. Keep your mezuzah in sight. Amen.